In today's video, we are going to discuss the role of the trail elbow in your backswing and the start of your downswing to improve your consistency. Make sure you check this video out. John Watts here from the True Golf Academy. You join me out on the golf course. And today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is all gonna be about our trail elbow in the backswing and the start of the downswing. And I'm gonna share with you a real simple at-home exercise you can do that's actually gonna increase your range of movement here if you do it enough in your rotator cuff, your shoulder blade, to really improve that trail elbow movement as well. If you're new to my channel and this video is of interest to you, if you find it useful, please do hit the thumbs up, share it with as many golfers as you can, and consider subscribing. It is for free, at least two instructional videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you hit the little bell icon, it just notifies you every time a new video goes live. So, I'm gonna talk about this and, and actually be demonstrating it with a mid iron, but this is relevant with any golf club, doesn't matter what we're discussing it with, whether it's a hybrid, a driver, a wedge, it's all the same. So we're gonna be talking about that trail arm and the elbow movement that we really want. So at the top of the backswing or during the backswing, what I'd like to see with that trail arm is it folding to start to point more down. Now this angle will depend a little bit on flexibility, but that's again where this exercise is gonna help. Now, there have been good golfers and are good golfers with that trail arm very high, but what they do on the downswing is they change direction with that trail arm where it's moving down and in front of them. What we don't want to see on the downswing is the trail arm staying high and behind me because you can see what that's gonna to do to the club is create a very steep path where the club is on a collision course down to the ground. So we really want on the downswing, the trail arm to stay low, lower than my wrist here and feel like it's moving down and in front of my trail hip here. So the backswing position is really to help the downswing, but you can play good golf from a different backswing position. Of course you can. I'm talking about making it simpler, making it a little bit easier. So I'd like to see at the top of the backswing, as I said, that trail arm folding, and the more flexible you are, the more you'll be able to get that arm straight up. Now, if you can get it somewhere matching your spine angle, you're doing pretty well. The exercise, what we're gonna do, we're going to hold the club, and we're going to, so I'm actually holding the club head, with my lead hands, that's the one closest to the target. And at the top of the grip, just between my thumb and forefinger, I'm gonna hold the grip. And you can see the club there is running at the back of my trail forearm. That took a bit of explaining, hopefully, hopefully you're with me. So my lead hand is holding the club head end, my thumb to forefinger is holding the top of the grip, and you can actually see the top of the club there, the grip end is following up the back of my trail arm. And I'm trying to make a, a backswing movement where I'm just keeping some pressure forwards. I'm not allowing this hand to move too far back behind me. So I'm trying to make a backswing and keep that elbow pointing more down in in front of me. You can see it's more towards the back of my heels here. So you can increase range this way, but you've got to make sure we're not doing it cheating, standing completely up and out of posture. We're trying to maintain some spine angle. But we're trying to feel like we apply a little bit of pressure forwards with the club head end towards almost where the golf ball would be. And what we want to do on the downswing is keep a little bit of pressure there so you can see my lead hand moves in front of me. If I got the wrong trail arm movement this way when my elbow moves out and high, I'm almost gonna be letting go of the club because the club's gonna be moving miles behind me here. So I'm trying to make a backswing keeping a little bit of pressure on it, start down and you can see my trail elbow is staying lower than my wrist and it's moving down in in front of me here, close to my side into impact. So it's a great feeling. The same movement I'd get if I was gonna throw that ball or skim a stone, that same movement I'm gonna have on the downswing into impact this way. I'm not gonna let that angle go, trail arm high on the downswing. God, you can really feel that. So just doing actually a little bit of exercise, working on that shoulder blade, that rotator cuff there, improving the mobility, the flexibility is gonna help. It's a massive power source if you get it right. You know, what we see with javelin throwers, for instance, or someone pitching in baseball, is their pressure, their body's rotated to the target, their arm's still back here, and they're releasing that angle at the last second, but you'll see that the elbow leads the wrist until the last split second here, we won't get that sort of, sort of movement where we're throwing the club out. So we wanna get that same sensation, allow that trail arm to fold in the backswing, allow it to down, 
move down and in front of me here, you can still see I've got some flex it's towards my lead hip, sorry, my trail hip. And it's extending just into post impact here. So I'm trying to get that feeling of elbow down, elbow moving in front of me, just by simply doing that exercise as a great at home drill, working on some flexibility of that shoulder blade and what that trail arm is doing. It's a great exercise. You will feel it. If you get obviously a lot of pain there, stop, seek some medical advice, uh, see what range of movement you've got. Maybe there's some other flexibility training drills you can do or don't apply too much force with that outward handle there. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get the feeling of what my trail arm is doing in the backswing start of the downswing. It's a great way to shallow the downswing. It's a great way to save some pent up speed, some lag. Right. Trail arm folds, trail arm stays in front of me, extending just post impact. Let's give it a go. That felt very solid, ball turf strike, felt like I compressed the ball. You'll have to look back at it on camera, but it's a feeling that you're getting having done some of those drills of what the trail elbow is doing in your backswing and downswing. Another good contact ball turf strike. Definitely got the feeling on the backswing that I was allowing that arm to fold and it suggests that I'm getting that elbow in front of me, but of course I'd like to look back and see it on camera, get the idea of what is really happening, is feel real. Uh, so always look back, always see your swing back on videotape. It's, it's a great way to understand and start to learn, but that exercise is gonna help improve some flexibility here. Doing some simple throwing drills and skimming stones is brilliant. It's so relevant for golf. Don't think it isn't. It doesn't all have to be hitting golf balls to improve your golf swing. As I mentioned there at the start, if this video is of help, hit the thumbs up, share it with as many golfers as you can, and please do consider subscribing.